could do. I declare that 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 spirit of greed and um, self-centeredness and envy no longer has place in this country and on the planet. Now, I'm one person. I just declared that anybody who believes like I believe has the power to speak those words, and we collectively have the power to change the world. Um, just because people who came before us could not express and, and um, encompass love wherever they went does not mean that we can't do it. So I declare tonight that we all have the power to love past any historical policies and any historical actions that was designed to make us ignorant of the power of love, make us ignorant of the power of care and compassion, and make us ignorant of the power of mankind uniting as one love and one power. So tonight, I say for the rest of this, the rest of time, mankind has the power to love each other no matter what. And love is the only way through where we, is the only way to push past where we are right now. Where we've come from, some, some of the historical events that happened in the past are so tragic and embarrassing and heartbreaking that for the most part, we don't even want to talk about them. We don't want to uh, discuss them. We don't even want to acknowledge that they happen. But the danger of that is we simply, we run the risk of rewording and reviewing things that have already happened in a different light and repeating the same mistakes all over again. If we change words um, in policy to sound better, but the end results are the same, then we're the same. And we're doing the same things that were done before we came to this planet. And so um, I, I no longer, I, not that I, I was taught some things I've learned that aren't true. Um, I was taught some things that are uh, not useful for me, and, and they were not useful for me to pass on to my children and my grandchildren, so I didn't. And so because of that, I now understand that the future lies on all of us who keep waking up and who are willing to be honest and who are willing to love. Hate, envy, strife, um, greed, we've already seen throughout history it, it didn't work for the Romans, it didn't work for the Greeks, it didn't work for every group who called themselves in charge. Prior to this time, every group before us went so far, failed and suffered and, and um, did not succeed in controlling the entire world. Now, I believe that that's not possible because it's God's world. This is God's planet. We are all God's people, whether we acknowledge it or not. And so the world and everybody in it came here to glorify God, and we glorify God in the way that we live. We love each other. Lies keep us from loving each other. So we, you, we can, I make a conscious decision to not lie, and I make a conscious decision to love no matter what, no matter what. And so with that, I know that I affect change everywhere I go with whoever I talk to because I make a conscious, de conscious decision to embody love, share love, spread love, express love, and I, I turn off negativity, I turn off dysfunction, I turn off um, hatred. I turn off all those things that would rob me of the gift of love and rob me the joy of love. Um, during the holiday season, you know, because of all the commercialism involved and all the um, messages we've re received throughout time that told us 
that every house had to have a big Christmas tree and a whole lot of presents under it. And, you know, everybody had to have everything they saw on TV or what everybody else had. I certainly grew up like that. I asked my parents for, you know, different dolls and different toys as I learned about them because I saw them on television. And a lot of them I got through the years. Um, 